keep switching. I want to know what's going to happen. It was the laundry that I had landed in. The aromatic effect of over 400 cheesy feet was mind-blowing. I knew that stealing putrid socks wouldn't solve anything. Old laundry rooms. Look at those things. Somebody in this castle had a serious washing powder fixation. My old Navy SEALs manual had a special section. Assessing enemy strength, utilizing captured washing powder drums. Shame I couldn't remember the equation. <laughs> I didn't need to take any of the washing powder. Like it, just some like, whoa, stuff. They sure knew how to build doors in Prague. Either they wanted to keep people out or socks in. Either way. I couldn't hear any movement coming from behind the door. The door was locked. This was beginning to feel more and more like a prison. There had to be some way of opening the door. Like how? The door was locked. Couldn't see anything else going on here. Oh, wait a minute. It was an old trolley. It looked as if it hadn't been used for years. It was an old trolley. Hmm, maybe we can push one of these things on there, huh? I didn't need to take any of the washing powder. You sure? Somebody in this castle had a serious washing powder fixation. I knew that stealing putrid socks wouldn't solve anything. I might. The door was locked. Well, there's nothing else. Maybe he's got to keep doing this. The door was locked. Gotta be something, man. Somebody in this castle had a serious washing powder fixation. I didn't need to take any of the washing powder. Gotta be something else, then. It was the window I'd climbed in through. The window was really high up. There was no way of getting back out through there. 
Okay, let's see here. There's gotta be something we can do. Dude, could you get off of that thing, please? Thank you. Oh, this one. This one looks different. Oh. There we go. Let's see if we can push this onto the car. The washing machine slid sweetly onto the trolley. How oh, many we can bust through the locked door and get the hell out of here, man? It's like being in this laundry room. It's not fun. Why would they lock a laundry room, well, room anyway? Here goes. There we go. Yes. That's my kind of key. Why would they lock a laundry room anyway? I don't get that. There's nothing in there. All these different paths. Ooh, what's this? A modern door set into the damp basement walls. The door backed out into the basement corridors. Silence. That was either a sign, or there was just no one behind the door. Oh, it was no use. The door was shut tight. If only I had the key card to open it. More key cards. More key cards. Take that, you! Oh! Why, you! George? Who? It's me, Nico! <laughs> Jeez, I thought you were Petra. Hmm. Often sneak up on girls like that, do you? Only blondes. So it's true. They do have more fun. Hang on to the wig and find out. Trailer trash chic. Not really my style. Ouch. So how come you're down here? Did you notice the extra security? I'm guessing that Bruno must be close. So what are we waiting for? Maybe he's in that door. I don't know if Nico's keycard works for that, but... It's a thought. Nico looked just like Petra. You know, it's a tacky outfit, but you look okay in it. Oh, thanks. Some guys just know how to compliment a lady, I guess. <laughs> hey, Nico. Yes, George? I have to admit, the blonde hair is a bit strange. Oh, really? Nobody said anything. That's because the outfit's so scary. They're all terrified of you. So, did you find Bruno? No, I don't know where he could be. The guards in the entrance hall said that he had been moved to Cesaro's office. Down here somewhere. Well, there's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, it was no use. The door was shut tight. If only I had the key card to open it. Hey, Nico. Can you do something with this lock? I don't have anything to open it. Where would you be without me, George? Hey. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, look at this place. Can we get off of the wall, George? Thank you. Appreciate it. Stuff. Just calm down. The locker had some guards uniforms hanging inside. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like green is the new black for bad guys. Well, this should help me move around more easily. Nico, could you turn your back, please? You are joking. 
I know, but it's these shorts. Not very flattering. Oh, fine. Quickly. Get it over and done with. There. Changed. Oh, you look nice. I bet you say that to all the guards. <laughs> nice. I was already wearing a uniform. I didn't need another. Why not? George, the guard. Let's see what we can figure out. Right. Here goes. Madame Petra, I wasn't informed you were back. As you can see, I am. And this is urgent. I ought to check with the front desk. You are holding me up. Now, unless you want your appendages rearranging, I suggest you open the door. Of course, ma'am. My apologies. Recognize. Alrighty then. Going even deeper. Oh boy. It was a large metal door with a numeric keypad to one side. Oh, it's numeric. I couldn't hear anything behind the door. Probably because it was about five inches thick and made of toughened steel. I didn't have the code to open the door, and I didn't want to risk raising the alarm. Hmm. So we gotta find the code. It looks like this cell's open. More cards, of course. Hmm. No, no, no. Will we be able to reach it? That's the question. Sound. A guard somewhere? I don't even know. this here so we can push the one on top across. Bingo, this should work. And these crate puzzles keep reminding me of Legend of 
Or to legend. Tales of Legendia. To legend. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, see, this should work. Hopefully this wasn't all for nothing. That would really piss me off. Nico, keep quiet and come and look at this. It's Bruno. I don't think there's anyone in there with him. Can we risk it? We've got to. Hey, Bruno. Bruno, it's Nico. And George. Hey, fellas, nice of you to drop by. Are you okay? Oh, sure. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm in constant pain. I've had more electricity through me than a small town in winter. But heck, now you're here, who gives a damn? You're so brave. Lady. I grew up in Eastern Europe. We did torture in kindergarten. Have you told them anything? Everything. <laughs> but the one thing Susaro wants. And what's that? Who has got the key of Solomon? But we don't know who's got it. Exactly. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter now. We're coming in to... Shh. That was the gatehouse. Petra has arrived at last. I am so pleased for you. Thank you. I find torture such a soulless task without an audience. Oh, I know. And she is so imaginative. Such a source of new ideas. I appreciate that. Yes, Bruno, I truly believe you will. And look on the bright side. When you tell us who has the key, even then, we will not kill you. We need you too much. My dear girl. Has he talked yet? No, but I'm sure you will persuade him. I'm going to enjoy it. Now, Stobart and the girl. I hope you bring me good news. I found them. But I'm afraid they got away. I'm sorry. They have too much luck. That is worse, Master. Let him in. All right, boss. Not this idiot. Forgive me, sir. But there is something you must hear. Flap, tell Senor Suzaro what you told me in Paris. What? About that nightclub? And those girls? No, no, no. About the safe. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't, was it? Wasn't what? Wasn't safe? Get on with it, Flap. That Stobart girl, she came back to the theater, took some documents. What documents? A picture of a castle in Prague. This castle? Very good. Give the man a cigar. Flap. Well, sorry, sir. Wait, what is that? Do you like it? It's my new scarf. That Stobart girl left it behind in Paris. What is it? You can go, Flap. Get out. Thank you, sir. Well, Bruno, it's your lucky day. Now I know who has the key. We do not need to put Petra to work on you. No? How? The emblem on the scarf. It is the crest of the Saint Stephen chapter of the Knights Templar. I thought they had disappeared centuries ago. Clearly not. And I know exactly where to find them. That fool Flap had the answer all along, wrapped around his thick neck. Collard must be working for them. So, now we must change our plans. I shall go to Paris to retrieve the key. You take Ostwald to the armillary to prepare. Give the order that all personnel are to prepare to move out. It's time, isn't it? Yes, my dear. It is time. Oh boy. The grill looked through to some kind of office. 
It could give access if the grill itself wasn't in the way. The grill was screwed tight to the wall. I wasn't going to be able to pull it off with my hands. I had no reason to try that. No way was I doing that. Not this time. I needed to get the grill open. Oh, uh, let's see. With the coin. The edge of the coin was just the right size to unfasten the screws. There we go. Who'd have thunk it? Woo! I couldn't get through the narrow gap. Um, George, when I first knew you, that would have been no problem. Guess I must be carrying a little more muscle, huh? <laughs> yeah, the fat kind. Okay. Look, whatever I said about you in that wig, I apologize. Apology accepted. Phew. Won't make you any thinner, though. The grill was open, but the opening looked pretty small. There was no way my, uh, muscular hips would go through. I couldn't get through the narrow gap. Uh, Nico? Yes? I don't like to ask, but... Would I climb through the grill and open the door from the inside? Amazing. You read my mind. You're just so predictable, George. <laughs> oh, these two. Good stuff. How's it going? You owe me one. That's okay. I'm not counting. <laughs> All right, well, let us see what lies beyond the door of Epic Proportions. Nico, look! It's some kind of map of ley lines. See the area in the middle? It matches the diagram in Vernon's video. It seems to have its focus somewhere in Egypt. So do you think that's where they've taken Bruno? Oh, I think so. The armillary must be in Egypt. Well, that should be easy enough to find. Sure. I mean, how big can a country be? <laughs> it was an electronic map of the world. Ley lines were represented in red. They all merged at one point over Egypt. Cesaro certainly looked after his suits of armor. I suppose even bad guys have hobbies. I would never be able to fit into that armor. In any case, what good would it do me if I could? Well, it'd protect you from getting shot, for one. It was a map of some small country in Europe. I couldn't make out where, though. Maybe it was Cesaro's homeland. Could be. Nico looked just like Petra. Yeah. Hey, Nico. Yes, George? Where do you think that secret passage leads to? I have no idea. Could be a quick route for Cesaro to get out. Well, it's our only exit now. Going back out through the castle would be madness. Pretty much, yeah. I wouldn't recommend that. Cesaro's desk was straight out of the Megalomaniac catalog. Aha! Look at this. What is it? Secret button hidden under the edge of the desk. Maybe it opens the door. The desk was too heavy to move. And besides, we needed to find a way to follow after Bruno. It was a large, round, red button. Only thing missing were the words, press me. 
Buttons like this traditionally opened up the floor to reveal a tank full of killer sharks. If the world ends when I press this, then I'm sorry for all the nasty things I've ever said about you. George, just get on with it. Okay, sorry. Well done, George. Let's go and rescue Bruno. Out of interest, what nasty things? Oh, you know, the usual. The usual? Go on. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else we can take a look at here. It looked like a very old map. Somewhere in England, I think. It was a large shield with weapons mounted on the wall. The shield bore a crest I didn't recognize. I imagined myself taking them with me, but then I thought better of it. <laughs> if only, George. If only. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. This is creeping me out. I've had enough of it. What are you doing here? I uh, thought I'd keep Beatrice company. Andre took me to the cinema. What did you see? Nosferatu? George. Andre, we need your help. Of course. What do you want him to do? That symbol on the scarf? Yes. Cesaro recognized it instantly. It's the coat of arms of the St. Stephen chapter of the Templars. My god. What? I always thought it was just a story. Look, Andre, tell us what you know. Tell us, chérie. The St. Stephen chapter was reputed to have escaped the Inquisition by hiding in secret chambers. Somewhere in Paris. No one knew where, though previously they had their base near the old church at Montfaucon. Maybe I can find a clue in the old Templar meeting place. What do you mean? The Templars used to meet in secret in the catacombs there. Of course. There's more. Go on. It involves the founding of the chapter. We don't have time for tales, André. Listen, Nico. If there's one thing I've come to realize, it's that you can't have too much information. Carry on, André. Thank you, Georges. <laughs> when the Templars were in possession of the Temple Mount in Israel, they discovered a holy relic. A young knight, Stéphane, was given the task of transporting it secretly to France. He traveled north through Galilee and then headed to the coast where he boarded a ship destined for the river Po. Making his way up the Po Valley, Stéphane avoided known dangers to the west by heading north to the Rheingau. Pursued into France by the forces of a treasure-hunting prince, he was forced to make a stand in the mountains of Reims. Though able to dispose of his force, he was fatally wounded. Bravely, he continued to his destination, the Berentoir Preceptory, handed the relic to the master of the chapter, then died. The order changed his name to Saint Stéphane, in honor of the brave knight, and relocated to Paris. It's like a fairy tale. Good grief. I'm going to head for Montfaucon to look for clues. Nico? You go without me, George. Andre and I will see if we can work out the exact location in Egypt. Right. Where? Well, um... Okay. I'll see you soon, then. Off you go, George. I was back in Montfaucon Square after all these years. Beneath the cobbles lay a hidden world of ancient waterways and catacombs, some of it built by the Knights Templar as a meeting place and sanctuary. Once again, I was going to have to go down there to discover the truth. It's been a while since we've been here. Something to do some construction. Mustache, the attitude, the ass hanging out of the pants. It was the same guy I'd met years ago at the bombed out cafe. Of course, back then I was still in Fighting Evil Conspiracies Junior League. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Sava, as long as we don't have another earthquake. Well, you should be safe here, by the old church. You're joking. 
Look at it. But it's medieval. Medieval? Shoddy, you mean. Should be torn down and replaced with something modern. Really? Something nice in concrete and steel. Built to be earthquake proof. You think there's gonna be more quakes? Of course. And look at all that rubble. The thing's a death trap. Wait a minute. You seem very familiar to me, monsieur. Me? Oh, I doubt it. But of course. You're the guy who gave me that racing tip. Oh, uh, right, so I am. That horse made a fortune for me. Turned my whole life around. Guess I'm just a natural. It's a gift, monsieur, a gift. But how come you're still digging up roads? I've got my own company now, monsieur. And a drill, see? Not a pick. If you have any more tips like that one... You'll be the first to know. <laughs> what exactly are you doing here? These damned earthquakes are screwing everything up. There's plenty of stuff underground that needs fixing after that last shock. So you're digging a hole for the utilities guys to get to the damage? That's it. And the sooner we're out of here, the happier I'll be. You said we. I don't see anybody else working. My workmate. Alphonse is snoring up a storm in the cab of my truck. Why isn't he helping you? Medical exemption. He's got a piece of paper from his doctor saying he is clinically seismophobic. He's afraid of earthquakes? Just so, monsieur. And you believe it? You can't argue with a piece of paper, can you? All right. So, how did you end up with this Alphonse guy? Positive discrimination. We have to take on a set number of cowardly idiots every year. 